No way. It's a Let me see. <laughs> Fuckers like <laughs> My chat saying it's suspended. The season is over. Yeah, Sham bomb. What the f this video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. If you watch my channel for a while, you know that I'm a huge fan of Manscaped and their Perfect Package Essentials Kit, which is the world's first all-in-one manscaping kit that makes manscaping safe and easy. And just when you think they have it all figured out, they take it to the next level. I'm excited to be one of the first to confirm that after more than 18 months of research and development, the new Lawnmower 3.0 waterproof body trimmer has just been released. It now includes a rapid USB charging dock as well as advanced skin safe technology for an even safer and closer manscaping experience. And as you can see, there's a new LED light attached to the Lawnmower 3.0 that illuminates your grooming areas. I love this because I typically do my manscaping in the shower and it gets a little dark in there. So this LED light allows you to see exactly where you're manscaping. Now, I recommend that you guys start with the new and improved Perfect Package 3.0 kit, which includes the brand new Lawnmower 3.0, which is cordless and waterproof which means you can bring it into the shower with you, making it the most convenient trimmer on the market. It's also going to come with a crop preserver, anti-chafing ball deodorant, and crop reviver refreshing spray. Because you put deodorant on your armpits, right? Why wouldn't you put deodorant on the smelliest part of your body? The Crop Reviver Refreshing Spray and Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant are included in the Perfect Package 3.0 kit with the Lawnmower 3.0, which is without a doubt the best deal on their website. Plus, you get 20% off when you use promo code FLIGHTMIKE on manscaped.com. That's promo code FLIGHTMIKE on manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. Listen, guys, before we get to this content at all, please take a moment. Okay, if you want, pause the video or let the video continue to run through. Go into the comment section down below. You're going to comment and express your frustration in this comment section by saying, this situation sucks. But you're also going to be positive about the situation by saying, this situation sucks, but we're going to get through it together as a society. You know, we're going to express our frustration, but we're going to be hopeful for the future because this situation does suck. I have so much info to bring to you guys ever since the last video I brought out for you guys. What's going on, guys? Your boy, The Flight Mike, back again with some basketball news. And for those of you guys that don't know what has been going on from last night up until now, well, I recommend you watch last night's video about Rudy Gobert and the NBA season being canceled before you watch this one. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. But pretty much what happened was the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Utah Jazz were supposed to play a NBA regular season game against each other last night. Rudy Gobert was initially ruled out of the game, possibly with an illness alongside a Emmanuel Moutier, and as time progressed forward right before the game was about to tip off, Rudy Gobert just didn't look good. And CP3 apparently, according to Royce Young, walked over to the Utah Jazz bench and said, hey, is Rudy Gobert okay? The Utah Jazz frantically said, yo, CP3, get away. And at that point, the game was dismissed, at the time officially ruled to be rescheduled to a later point, and every player was held back to be quarantined and of course tested to see if they also had the illness because Rudy Gobert tested positive for the illness. Now subsequently the NBA announced that they were going to suspend the rest of the league for lord knows when. I'm hearing that there's a chance that the NBA comes back in April. Maybe they're going to axe off some games and start the playoffs immediately. We don't know fully what's going to happen with that. I'm going to keep you guys posted with all that information. So make sure you're subscribed and you turn on notifications so I can bring you the latest news about that kind of stuff. Because now that the NBA is out of season, this is pretty much what my channel is right now. So make sure you're subscribed. I'll bring you the latest basketball related news in terms of what's going on in our society. Now, as the NBA players sat back for both the Utah Jazz and the OKC Thunder, I mentioned plenty of times that there were many and there were NBA Hall of Famers such as Chris Paul in that building, NBA All-Stars such as Rudy Gobert in that building, and some of the NBA's future brightest stars like Shea Gilgis Alexander and Donovan Mitchell alongside lovable NBA players such as Steven Adams under that roof. And unfortunately, well, one of the NBA's future bright stars got diagnosed and tested positive for the illness. 
and that's Donovan Mitchell. And this came out earlier today, and Donovan Mitchell actually went out and posted on to Instagram about how he feels about his situation. He said, thanks to everyone who has been reaching out since hearing the news about my positive test. We are all learning more about the seriousness of this situation and hopefully people can continue to educate themselves and realize that they need to behave responsibly both for their own health and for the the well-being of those around them. I appreciate the authorities in Oklahoma who were helpful with the testing process and everyone from the Utah Jazz who have been so supportive. I'm going to keep following the advice of our medical staff and hope that we can all come together and be there for each other and our neighbors who need our help. Now, let me tell you someone that feels really bad about this situation. And we all know he's notorious for touching the microphones before his interview. And that is Rudy Gobert, the Stifle Tower. Now, I read my comments in the previous video. A lot of you guys said that Rudy Gobert was acting irresponsibly. And the way he acted was just very, very rude and put the, our entire society in danger. But here's the thing. I don't really point the finger at Rudy Gobert because there are two types of people in the world. There's the type of people that are, you know, very nervous and terrified of the slightest thing happening to them. And then there are people that like to, you know, make the situation less threatening by pointing humor at it. And I guess Rudy Gobert is the second type of person because I am the, that type of person as well. I made a complete joke of this situation until yesterday where I saw it reach this level. And that's just the person he is. Of course, he didn't mean to endanger people. He just wanted to make it humorous so he could make it seem a little bit less threatening. I'm just hoping that Rudy Gobert feels better as here's what he had to say about the entire incident. The first and most important thing is I would like to publicly apologize to the people that I may have endangered. At the time, I had no idea I was even infected. I was careless and make no excuse. I hope my story serves as a warning and causes everyone to take this seriously. I will do whatever I can to support using my experience as a way to educate others and prevent the spread of this illness. I am under great care and will fully recover. Thank you again for all your support. I encourage everyone to take all of the steps to stay safe and healthy. Love. Now, that seems to be a little bit more positive, but man, I have some really, really negative news, guys. I have some truly, truly awful news. So first, the NBA's regular season got suspended, right? Well, we just got word, literally right now, that the NCAA has announced that the Division I men's and women's 2020 basketball tournaments have been canceled because of the current situation and its evolving threat to public health, which means basketball in its entirety is over. And furthermore, we also heard that baseball is currently in the midst of suspending its season as well. So it appears as if sports i don't know about the xfl so far but it appears as if sports as a unit in its entirety may be done with for the period of time that we're in currently now i'm really hoping i'm personally holding out hope that there is a chance that they come back within the next week maybe march and madness turns into april madness because now we're all in a situation where we're stuck in our homes. You know, we don't really have any outlet, any type of media. Well, we do have YouTube and TV and whatnot, but we don't we don't have anything to do other than watch the news and await our next steps. I'm personally hoping that this blows over in about a week or two, and I'm hoping that we get some positive results down the line because I personally cannot believe that they canceled March Madness. I feel like we are in the midst of a Black Mirror episode or a really weird movie right now as all of these sporting events are getting postponed and canceled. I don't know how it's gonna progress forward. I don't know if the NBA is gonna come back and resume activities in the summer or finish out the regular season or i don't know if the ncaa is going to turn march madness into april madness or what they're going to do all i know that this is a very strange situation and 2020 has been terrible first with the death of the late great kobe bryant then with the current situation that we're in now by the way i have to speak very vaguely because otherwise youtube will demonetize my content so if you guys didn't get that that's why 
Now, I'm going to keep you guys posted on future news. I just still can't believe. All I could say for now, guys, is try to stay hopeful and, you know, just try to hang in there. Let's try to lean on each other through this difficult time and try to stay positive for the future. And hopefully this could blow over sooner rather than later. Until then, I'll be bringing you guys all the sports news I can on my channels, Flight Mic, Microphone, and Flight FC. I will be live streaming on Twitch later on today, maybe even now. So if you go to twitch.tv forward slash Flight Mic and you want to run some games with me in the meantime, come on through. Besides that, I'm your boy, the Flight Mic. I'll catch you guys in the next upload.